So I'm continuing the conversation that I started in the garden about art. The truth of the matter is actually that art, when you go art, you cannot go back. That's all I can say. You know, once you start the journey, if you really put your soul in it, it always had been something you wanted to do as it was for me. Now it's been more than 20 years as an artist, professional artist. Um, I can't and I couldn't be any anything else. Uh, I sustain myself with art classes. I taught, I, I've been a teacher for 20 years now of children and adults and then moved into art therapy. And uh, I suppose one led to another and was matching also my path as a mystic and uh, in my own spiritual journey. I understood that art was helpful for healing. But art always been there for me. I always had uh, made decision because of my art. I never compromised it. I never um, decided to do something else. Uh, I didn't give up. And I've been on the journey professionally since 1999. And uh, it's, been, it's been an amazing journey. It's, it's not easy, again, I repeat, it's not easy. It's not for those who need security, who needs to have stability because there's no stability. But today, in today's world, there's absolutely no stability. Whatever you do, there's no guarantee that you'll be uh, secure. Um, security is a, an illusion, and we know, all know that. But I'm not asking everybody to make this leap of faith. But what I am, um, witnessing is that the public or the general public who has not touched art, uh, who doesn't know any artist, uh, may not have a, quite a good understanding of what it takes for an artist to do his work. Um, it will take investment. It will take all your resources. It will take all your money. It will take all your blood. It will take all your life. I mean, I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just saying it as it is. You know, if you are painting to have uh, your money back, you're not. Uh, if you are painting to become famous and rich, like Van Gogh or Picasso, it will take probably many, many uh, decades after your death that you might become auctioned and you might get that recognition. And when they were painting, they were not expecting that. I'll say, aside from Picasso, who really was a, it was all about money. But really, truly, when you meet an artist, when you see an art piece in the, on the wall, ask them questions. Ask them questions about how dedicated they are to this amazing, I will say, wife or husband that art is. Because if we, if we are seen as free spirits, uh, roaming around the world, having wonderful experiences, well, you don't see our spouse. Our spouse is right there next to us, it's art. We are married to art. We are committed to art. And we put all our resources to support art. And sometimes we get lucky, sometimes we are supported, sometimes we are recognized, and sometimes we are seen, and sometimes we are not. But we have to continue and keep faith because that's what is our life about. I mean, I see my life as an artist ever since I was a baby, as, ever since I can remember that. And I'm doing all the other things to sustain that. So namaste for today. And maybe hopefully that would have given you some perspective on what an artist backstage is. Much love. Namaste.